what would be more impressive? Like what McDavid could do in Gretzky's era with the, the, the level of skill and speed that McDavid has, but you put him in 80s and 90s hockey, or you take Gretzky, who had to deal with 80s and 90s hockey, and put his skill in the modern game where it's not as grabby and clutchy and rough and tumble and elbows yeah, to your that, temple weren't encouraged. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, that's a good question. I I just feel like the, the level of athlete now is so different. Because mm-hmm. I, I feel like if you were to go... Like, look, Gretzky, I'm looking at all-time, by the way, points per game in the playoffs uh, throughout history. Gretzky, 1.837. Lemieux, 1.607. McDavid, 1.581. In an era <laughs> where scoring is down. Sure. In comparison. But I think you take today's athlete and put him back there, and there's no contest. Okay. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, I don't know. You think of, like, your average NHL player in the era of Wayne Gretzky. They couldn't play. In this area, I'm not taking anything away from Gretzky. I still think if Gretzky far, plays as now, far as pace and everything, and right? Skill wise, I, yeah. I still think Gretzky would be an amazing player in this era, but as it, would Mario but Lemieux. It, but if uh, you know, if if you got 80s and 90s style defense where you're taking two hand slashes at the ankle and there's no repercussions for it, you got to look out for guys like Scott Stevens coming across the middle to decapitate yeah. you, and you can clutch and grab and hook, and there's no calls. Does that slow McDavid down to? I mean, a little, more probably a levels. little bit, but didn't slow Gretzky down. Right. Oh, that's interesting. I McDavid on those Oilers teams. I mean, that was, <laughs> okay. that was the well, you put the two together. Well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying, you swap out Gretzky. Sure, for, yeah. I mean, Gretzky had all Gretzky most and of his McDavid success. Yeah. Swap on those amazing Freaky Friday teams. style. <laughs> what's more? What's more impressive? 205 points in 1984 or 153 points in 2023? I mean, they're both they're la- both, they're both ridiculous. laughably ridiculous. Yeah, but yeah, I don't know. I I think uh, I, I I wish there was a way that we could see it. Um, I think got to get him on your hut team then. Yeah, <laughs> I just mean like you know in a tangible way. Yeah, I yeah I would I I think Gretzky in the modern age would be doing exactly what he did. In his playing days, if not more. I'm looking at the top now scoring we're... seasons of all time. Yeah. In the top 25, one, two of them have come this decade. McDavid in 2022-23, 64 goals, 89 assists. And last year, Nikita Kucherov, Kucherov yeah. 44 goals, 100 assists. That was 23rd. Everybody else... Uh, they're all a lot of these are Gretzky. Uh, 89, I'm sorry, 1990, 1993, 1974, 1982, 93, 88, Yager in 96, Bernie Nichols 89, Phil Esposito 71, Iserman 89, Lemieux 93, Lemieux 96, Gretzky 91, Gretzky 81, Gretzky 89, Lemieux 88, Gretzky 87, Gretzky 83. Lemieux 89, Gretzky 84, Gretzky 85, Gretzky 82, Gretzky 86. So, so despite the fact that you could grab and 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 check to the head and slash, you still had, you still you had, still had plumbers in goal. Yeah. Who are wearing popsicle mm-hmm. sticks for leg pads. You had, and, you had goalies that were smoking cigarettes during <laughs> player stoppages at the bench, you know, that had no did had no idea what the butterfly was. And the nets were bigger too. That's true. Yeah. That yeah. greatest but season of all time. Gretzky would still be an amazing player yeah. today. There's yeah. no doubt about that. Well, and, and the, uh, the greats will will uh, as Nate says, the replacement level player is 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 so much better these days than it was back then. But the greats would be great in any era. That's true in any sport. And Giggity says too, Gretzky's brand is what separated him from anyone ever. He was an absolute savant IQ wise. Like he just he had this, and he Gretzky says this about himself. It wasn't the physical size or his shooting power or anything like that. It was his ability to know where the puck was going to go before it got there. He just had this sense of the game that no one has ever had before on top of God given talent, other worldly ability, those sort of things. But the IQ is a huge part of it for him. And I think that does translate in any era. We all city like the mayor. 